Hi, welcome to North London Allotment. Today I have a list and basically it's just clean up jobs for autumn. Chop things down, compost them and get the soil ready for spring. Job one. Okay, so I've left this out all summer because it was just quicker and easier when watering. So now I've got two hose pipes to um, coil up so they, you know, like you coil it one way and then the other so they don't get a permanent kink. And I'm going to put them in a corner of the shed until I need them again. Don't let them get this one in the first place. There you go, that's my two hoses done. A lot easier to coil the hose lock one. Obviously it's more expensive so it's better. Now I just have to find a space in there for them until the spring. One down. It's actually started raining now. Um, which is a shame, but hopefully it'll just pass and then I can get back out there. The list got a bit wet. So, I brought loads of compost up like veg peelings and bits of kitchen roll, stuff like that. That's all gone in the composters, in my Daleks. So that's the job done. I've cut down almost all the tomatoes now. Just got some random ones in another bed to get rid of. They're all done. There's some lovely looking tomatoes on there, but plants have all got blight so there's no point taking those tomatoes home because they've probably already got it and they won't taste very nice which is a shame but never mind whilst it's raining i'll give you a quick update on my onions raw beans and peas so these are the onion sets as you can see the red ones are romping ahead these two here are actually odd ones i had left over maybe they're getting knocked maybe that's upset them no broad beans looking good and we just have over here one pea up there we go raining again. I definitely need to tidy up my shed some more. I can't even put my chair up. I'm just standing by the door with my flask of tea watching the rain. Actually stopped raining. Oh, it's a very glamorous look. Um, my hair was getting in my eyes and it was annoying me. So the emergency jacket can come off and I can carry on clearing this bed. And um, it really is the allotment that the weeds just won't forget. These big clods I can't break down at the moment because it's all stuck together, so I'm just slinging them over there.
rubbish. No dig is brilliant, but if you are taking over a new plot and you don't know what has been left in the soil, it is worth having just once digging it over. And even then, to be honest, you'll find like it's digging up potatoes, already dug it over and there's still stuff coming up. I mean, this plot has been thick with rubbish and that's just a strip that I didn't get time for, um, like before the growing season, so I just left it as a path. has taken me about three hours. I am really out of practice. That has killed my legs. I'm going to rake it over in a minute and put some green manure down to suppress the weeds, but until then, I'm gonna have a cup of tea. I think I've earned it. The green manure I've decided to use is mustard. And this is because I don't have to dig it in, the frost will kill it. So I'm gonna get it on here. Um, it is suitable for digging in within three to eight weeks. Definitely has lost by November, so that'll save me the problem of digging it in. There we go. This one is from Suffolk Herbs. Never used it before. Let's see how it goes. So it says the fastest green manure, not suitable for dry condition. Best to dig in before the first flower buds appear as it goes over fast once it starts to flower. Easy to dig and can be dug in from three to eight weeks. Oh, and you can also hoe it off. Even them to rot. So that's cool, it gives me another option. Already falling apart. I'm going to whack all this. <gasps> I don't know why I expected it to look not like mustard. It's mustard. Do you like mustard? I don't think you can see in there. I'm always surprised by what these look like. Some look like things you know, like this, and some just look like kind of things from an alien planet. This is cool. Okay, let's have fun scattering this. It's like silk running through your hand. Okay, just gonna give that a quick rake over, make sure it doesn't get picked off. And the idea is when I clear the squash and sweet corn, that will be covered with this stuff as well. Let's give it a quick rake. Another thing to tick off my list. There we go, another day completed on the plot. Did most of what I wanted to do. Also managed to lose my secateurs somewhere out there. <laughs> had a look, had several looks. No idea where they are. Until next time.
a good one.